Let's take a look at how we can write the formula for these three compounds here. We have sodium chloride, sodium chlorite, and sodium hypochlorite. So the first thing is they all start with sodium. So we can just write Na to start with. So that part's the same between these three compounds. Where they're different, we have the ide, ite, and then hypochlorite. So let's do the sodium chloride. You might know sodium chloride already. This is table salt. Because of the IDE, almost always that means we'll look this up on the periodic table. That's just chloro, that's from chlorine. Chlorine forms ions with a one minus ionic charge, sodium group one, one plus. So the charge balances, this is an ionic compound because of our metal and nonmetal. This is the formula for sodium chloride. Sodium chloride, when you see ITE on the end of a chemical name, that means you've got a polyatomic ion. In this case, either you memorize the chloride ion, or if you're allowed, you look it up. The chloride ion is ClO2. And the whole ion here has a one minus ionic charge. Again, the sodium's positive, so these charges balance out. So this is the formula for sodium chloride. For sodium hypochlorite, hypo means one less oxygen here. So we just write Na ClO, and instead of two, we just have one, and we don't write the one. Sometimes you'll see this written as NaOCl, and this is actually bleach. This is household bleach that people use to clean with. But the key here, hypo, that means we have one less oxygen than the ite here, and we get this NaClO for sodium hypochlorite. So that's how you write the chemical formulas for the sodium chloride, sodium chlorite, and the sodium hypochlorate, these compounds here. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.